The relatives of those who died in the attacks in Paris and in Brussels have been left with one main question. Why? Katarina Viktorsson's mother was visiting her from Sweden. She died in the airport departures hall. I've already suffered enough and I'm still suffering because of it, she says. For me, thinking about Salah Abdislam just adds to the pain. I don't even want to allow thoughts about him into my head. For me, he's really not worth it. Philippe Van Stenkiste lost his sister Fabienne in the Brussels attacks. He set up an association in her memory. What's important for us to understand is everything that happened between the 13th of November 2015 in Paris and the 22nd of March in Brussels. It looks like it was the same cell. We need to see the whole picture. Keeping the memory of her daughter Chloe alive is also vital for Elizabeth Boissineau in Paris. I'm terrified that we forget them. They died while they were enjoying the end of the week. They were having a drink and they were in good spirits. We're not in a state of war. I'm so afraid that we forget them. My Chloe as well, that I want to tell people not to forget. And I realize that, in fact, you can continue to live even with immense pain.